I wanted next to look at the um, some of the language in the article itself that um, and I noticed like I don't know it's how I'm the way I'm doing the search but now this article that was so helpful is not coming up in the top search results um, I don't know if that's because I've changed the way I'm searching for it or if there's something else going on I'm going to change my search technique a minute here it was called let's see so it's called the middle Tennessee something The reason why Middle Tennessee Mysteries, here it is. I might, I'm not going to draw any conclusions necessarily from this, where is it? Um, but sometimes, sometimes it seems like Google results do get manipulated. Um, anyhow, okay. Um, December 10th, 2000. This, by the way, was one day before my daughter's fifth birthday. Um, Missionary Ridge. And Missionary Ridge, by the way, is named, I um, mentioned earlier today, I made a video where I saw a Cherokee, like two almost identical, they looked almost identical, though they weren't the same type of car parked across the street. And one was a Jeep Cherokee. Um, there was some type of symbolism going on there. Um, the Missionary Ridge is, uh, I think, a trail or something where people, missionaries, would walk when they were going to try to evangelize the Cherokee. So, um, Grim, Game, Right, I, M. Magician, Discovery. Uh, looking at the last sentence in every paragraph is usually what I do. So it's searching for Josh with friends, family, and police. So, you know, the idea that we are under surveillance by friends, family, and police. We're actually under surveillance by, you know, lots of people. And most of them are just pretending to be friends. <laughs> and the family even isn't acting like family. So that's pushing it when it comes to us but I know how they I know how it's talked about um, doesn't make it real but anyway so yeah so moving right along body covered in leaves so leaves are linked to the leaves on the family tree the pain the suffering the emptiness it never goes away some of the mind control done around us says it's never gonna end it'll never go away the name Walden okay um, Walden is talked about a lot in my journals from the 80s and specifically the ones that I really picked up on were the fish of Walden uh, where Thoreau is writing about the fish and looking at fish through ice ice is symbolic of assassinations fish is somebody that you know you go fishing for so basically you, you know may murder manipulate this person for money that's a fish I think When he disappeared, he was wearing a red shirt and black jeans. Red and black. Um, why did it take so long for the boy to report be port, reported missing? So there's this idea that we'll always be, you know, um, late or take a long time to get anywhere. You know, that's part of the mind control. Um, and I'm not saying, you know, I mean, you have to, I don't know. I, I don't know whether to read these things in here or not, but I, I'm just, I'm just testing it. But there's a couple places where, there's a couple places where I think, yeah, it's definitely something here. I mean, first of all, uh, where they talk about more than a dozen police, so that word dozen, maybe we haven't even gotten to that point yet. Um, depression. They try to say that I'm depressed. 
the word face, I'm not even, I'm not certain exactly what face means, and it's, I know it's coded, but I'm not sure what it means. It scared him, he ran off the hill. This, this article came out in 2020, so there was a, there was a narrative about me as well, saying that I was scared and I was running away and all of this stuff. I mean, what do you what do you call it when you find out you've been under surveillance and people are stalking you around town and all this crazy crap is going on? I mean, horrified. I don't know. If, I mean, and scared. You know, there wasn't an element of being scared because people were stalking me like in the nighttime. They were following me in cars. They were following me on foot. Um, they would. Um, you know, it was this thing where I walk by a car and the car would start up right after I passed by it. That's a, a technique a lot of people were doing. So, like, you're walking by, people are just sitting in their parked cars waiting for you to walk by, and then they start their car when you walk by. It's just weird. You don't know what's going on. But m more than that, you know, it was more that I was trying to, like, get someone to help me address this surveillance. It's horrible to think that, I guess some people are used to it, but I am just horrified by it. I'm really, and so to this day, I'm horrified by it. And I don't think there's any reason not to be. I mean, this is disgusting. You don't spy on people in their bedrooms. It's just disgusting. Stop it. It's disgusting. It's horrible. Locker rooms. They've got cameras in locker rooms in these, you know, it, PCC. And I think that the girl in the women's locker room, there's, they've got, they can surveil you through the fire sprinklers in the women's locker room. If someone attacks you in the women's locker room, you say you're all alone, you know, and somebody attacks you and does something to you, it's not like those sprinklers, fire sprinklers are going to be used to solve the crime because it's all illegal surveillance. In fact, that whole thing might be used to set up a crime. It's way more likely to be used to set up a crime than to solve a crime. Um... Okay, so he was suffocated, compressing his chest or stomach to investigators emphasize he wasn't strangled, so maybe they like tried to say that we weren't. It sounds like people are trying to claim that we weren't strangled, like we didn't weren't successful because we were just, you know, losers, but that's bull crap. Okay, we were absolutely, you know, prevented from getting anywhere by in all kinds of ways. Not just fraud, simply straight out blacklisting as well. Um, they let they they try to hide it by letting you know if you really try, they'll try to let you make a little step up and a little because they don't want it to be too obvious. But um, the goal is to keep you impoverished and dependent and um, struggling. Okay, so we do think an aspect of this may not have been intentional. That's the one weird that's a weird thing I mean obviously it's a mind control killing but most of the time they don't say that you know unless maybe there's something else going on or they're just trying to lure someone to come forward and maybe Josh's red bicycle was never found um, so they somewhere they say he painted it a dull red and I wondered if the word dull was linked to the idea of um, I mean it could be the, you know, each letter coded, or it could be linked to the name Duhl, the family, the German family that I stayed with. It could be a German link. A few things of interest. Only turned up a few things of interest. Scoured the community for clues. They did that with us, I'm sure. They keep doing it. Even though, I don't know why. Um... Okay, so the thing about taking it, so shoes are a symbol of mobility. So there is this whole thing with the shoes, which I've talked about. We don't have shoes either because we don't have mobility, you know, metaphorically because we don't have mobility. So that's similar to why Paul was actually barefoot on Abbey Road. It wasn't, you know, people talked about, oh, it's how corpses are buried. I mean, maybe, but I think it has much more to do with mobility issues, and that's why, you know, Freemasonry initiations, sometimes they'll take one shoe off and leave one shoe on, symbolize restricted mobility, I guess. Um, 
so yeah killer from the immediate neighborhood so maybe there's some of that with us as well um, oops, the perpetrator attempted to obscure Josh's identity they think with this acid so acid is like it means LSD too so there's that link used to clean up concrete metal and construction projects in mechanic shops. So um, let's see there, let's see if there's anything that really, really jumps out at me. Well, there's a video of Crystal Walden. So, you know, um, Crystal is the name of one of the people, my daughter's cousins has been involved in the, these things. And um, Crystal Meth has been involved in these things. So I felt like there's, you know, some hints that in, in this that he was um, a mind control subject. Um, and so um, I'm not seeing the dozen police officers referred to here again. It's, I'm just tired, but uh, here it is. There's more than a dozen police officers were tracking Josh's movements. So dozen means that, you know, the hangs, that they were tracking his movements, but there was... Um, I mean, not literally hanged, but unable to move beyond a certain amount, as if, you know, they were being restricted in movement. 